हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल सो फ्रेंड्स ऑन द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो दैट वाज बेसिकली बीइंग आस्ट बाय द लॉट्स ऑफ कैंडिडेट्स रिगार्डिंग द टीसीएस टैग टेस्ट दैट टेल मी द टीसीएस टैग टेस्ट एक्चुअल क्वेश्चन दैट वाज बीइंग आस्ट इन द ट्वेंटी ओके सो दिस इज द एक्चुअल क्वेश्चन ऑफ द ट्वेंटी विच हेज बींग आस्ट इन द टी सी टेस्ट सो आई विल डिस्कस द कम्प्लीट प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट बिसाइड दैट अप्रोच वट द अप्रोच टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन एंड Besides that, I will tell you some of the important things that, as a TCS NQT aspirant, you should know this. So, first of all, coming to the question number one, they have given this question that you are given three integers n one, n two, n three. These integers represent the number of times a character a, b, c will occur. Okay, and there you have to basically generate all possible unique permutation. This is the important point. That is, you have to find the unique permutation of the string formed by repeating. A n one times b n two times c n three times okay so and, and talking about the constant so I couldn't recall the constant as I have talked to some of the student but uh, constant was not much you can say higher that just basic constant was there okay output so you have to just print all the uniqueness permutation of the string formed by the character a b c repeated n one n two n three times okay for example let us take the example suppose there a you have taken one b have taken one times and c you have taken one time then unique permutation will be a b c a c b b a c b c a c a b and c b a okay so these are the 6 to 7 permutation you have to basically print in the snippet okay do main aapko batata hu ki question jo sure means pura aisa hi nahi tha okay means detailed way mein thoda question tha complex but question ka gist ahi tha you have to get simply find the permutation of all the string okay so you are just only required to print the unique permutation here important thing that no duplicates should appear in the output okay means aisa nahi ki aapne b a c ek bar put kiya again that that should be printed again okay so that must be unique permutation so what is the approach here i have just used the recursion and basic approach that i am just showing you the solution okay so this is the permutation approach okay i will also provide this code uh, in the description from, from where you can basically directly download this code okay so first you can include all the things okay or uh, all the library or you can directly just include hashtag include bits std c++ dot h so that is enough okay and after that you have to basically take the input so in the main function you have to take the input and this is the important things because lots of student was facing issue in taking the input and almost they have wasted 5 to 10 minutes just for taking the input so if you are going to prepare for the tcs nqt then be careful in taking input okay So this is the uh, first I have declared n one, n two, n three. Enter the number of times a appear, b, c appear. I have just taken by c in. Okay, and after that, just I have taken the string str and appended this. Okay, so string n one a times means a I have appended n one times, b I have appended n two times, and c I have appended n three times. After that, I have taken a uh, set for the uniqueness property. Okay, you know set used to store the unique result. Okay. After that, just I have called the generate generate permutation function where I pass the string starting from the zero index to the result, means storing that into the result. And after that, just I am printing the result. Okay. So coming to the generate permutation function. Okay. So this is the function where I have taken the string and index. This is basically starting from zero and then storing the result. Okay. So first is that that is the base case. You can say if index equal to str dot length, then just Uh, result dot insert string that is the insert permutation to set to avoid duplicate okay? means if index equal to string dot length then just i have added or appended into the result okay but if it is less than that then just i am swapping it swap stri and str index then again calling the generate permutation function means just i am using the recursion by increasing the index plus 1 passing the string and result okay? so this was so easy if you basic idea of recursion and after that again i am means swapping stri and str index for the backtrack to previous state means for getting for going to the previous state i am again swapping it okay so this is a complete solution of the generate permutation string and you can see that okay if you want uh, python or java solution then just copy this question and paste into the gpt and convert into the java or python that will be easy you know okay but this was the complete approach okay So here I have taken a one b one c one. Then this they have given these permutation of the string. So this was complete first question. Okay, main catch was here to take the input. If you know 
how to take the input and and have the basic idea of permutation you can easily do okay some of the students also tried tried with the next permutation but they face issue okay so this is the best approach you to you can use talking about the second question that was being asked okay so here you can get the solution to talking about the second question power problem what they asked okay so you are given an array of integer and your task is to find the maximum sum of sub array that appear at least twice in the array this is important that you have to find the two array okay where there is a sum equal okay means you have to find the maximum sum of two equal sub array question thoda sa means lengthy tha okay aap kar sakte hain ki approx 1 and 1/2 page mein question tha but question ka gist jo tha main wo directly yahan par bata diya hu theek hai क्वेश्चन में थोड़ा क्रिसमस ट्री वगैरह करके था ओके मीन्स जिस क्वेश्चन का एरिया में बस ये बोल रहा हूँ ठीक है कॉन्स्टेंट कोई खास नहीं था मीन्स बेसिक कॉन्स्टेंट इफ यू नो द ब्रूट फोर्स अप्रोच देन यू कैन इजली सॉल्व दैट ओके बट मेन इशू दैट कैंडिडेट वाज फेसिंग इज टू टेक द इनपुट ओके सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट बी टेक दैट हेयर द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ अरे इज वन टू थ्री थ्री टू वन इफ आई टेक इन द इनपुट एज दिस देन मैक्सिमम सर्व अरे बिल बी सिक्स ओके सो मैं फिर से बताता हूँ कि किस तरह से मीन्स मैक्सिमम सब अरे आ रहा है ओके so this is the 1 2 3 3 2 1 2 and after that you have to just take all the sub array and you have to find two sub array with maximum sum okay means two sub array bhai pehla condition kya hai ki two sub array aapko find karna hai jo ki equal rahe sath hi sath aapko two sub array jo equal hai uska sum maximum hona chahiye okay so these are the all possible sub array and there are two sub array which have equal sum that is 1 2 3 and 3 2 1 okay 1 2 3 and 3 2 1 both have equal sum 6 and this is the maximum sum remember the point that is maximum sum okay you can get more than uh, more than two or three set of sub array which have sum but you have to just store the maximum sum yeah come on the solution how to attempt this okay i think question is clear that just you have to get the maximum sum and i will also provide this in the description from where you can get directly access to the question and you will get easily okay come on the solution so what i have done so first include it include the library or just or directly you can use hashtag include bits study c plus plus dot h then this is the catch that they have not specified the size of array okay so for that you have to basically take the input okay and this is the problem that lots of student was facing okay? that is the taking the inputs i have talked to some of the students and they tell the they told that i have taken or i know the solution how to solve all that things but i don't know how to take the input okay and they struggle to take the input so that thing you should know in the next or upcoming exam or if you are the students who are watching in 2026 then you have to know this that you have to take the input very very carefully so first i have declared the num then c out means you have to just enter the array element and while c in num array dot push back num okay so this is you can say the dynamic array where you are basically pushing the element after that i have just used scene dot ignore and scene ignore numeric limits stream size max means just i am ignoring the other cases okay so it basically clear the error state and ignore the rest of invalid input means agar aapne y ya z kuch liya this will be the invalid input okay? so that's why i have used scene clear scene ignore okay? this is very very important things that most of the student don't know okay and is it the with the explanation of this that it is used to clear the input buffer and after invalid input okay so main isme tha bhai input lene ka agar input aapne le liya then you will easily get the solution after that just i'm calling the max equal sub array and just i am getting the output okay so let us come to the max sub array function so this is the max sub array function where i am taking the array which i have taken uh, you can say dynamically okay and after that i have getting the size n equal to num dot size and maximum sum equal to 0 okay then i have clear then i have created a map or on a order map where i have stored the all possible sub array okay so yahan par aap dekh sakte hain ki all possible sub array ka sum maine map mein basically push kar diya okay and after that i am just comparing each sub array and i am basically trying to find the two sub array which have equal sum okay so this is the approach i have used and after that you have to basically uh, update the maximum sub okay means there there may be some chance that yeah you get two sub array or more than two sets of sub array but you have to basically just consider the maximum sum sub array okay means aapko wahi sub array ko consider karna jiska sum maximum rahe clear so this is the approach i have used and this is the condition i think you may have problem that what what i am basically doing here so here basically means this condition basically check if the sub array are disjoint that is one sub array ends before other begins or vice versa okay means if other condition is true it means sub array don't overlap okay 
simply it basically check that if means two sub area is not overlapping okay so this is the basically approach we are using okay so i hope now you all doubt is clear regarding the tag test and what are the things that you should know okay so they are the i have taken the element 1 2 3 3 2 1 2, okay and why i am taking here y just to terminate this okay so y is invalid input so our uh, input will terminate okay and after that we are getting the maximum sub array sum equal to 6 that is 3 to 1 okay this is 3 to 1 so 1 to 3 sum is equal to what 3 plus 2 plus 1 equal to 6 and similarly 3 to 1 sum will be what 3 to 1 that is 6 okay so both have equal sum 6 and this is the maximum sum you can try all things you will get the maximum sum of this okay so i hope this video informative to you if you still have any query feel free to ask here comment here and please friend support and subscribe us because you know i was with you from starting of the core beta to last till tag test and in upcoming days too i will provide lots of important video so make sure to support and subscribe us thank you bye bye meet you in the next video